Okay, so let's let's uh, see how we arrive at the Schrodinger equation, and we're going to give a, a der derivation of sorts for the Schrodinger equation, but it's it's not a true definition in the in the it's not a definition in the true sense. It's heuristic in that it basically is um, involves some guesses and some um, yeah some uh, assumptions. Um, but it, it's instructive to go through this because it helps us understand where the Schrodinger equation comes from. It kind of motivates the Schrodinger equation. It justifies it, uh, maybe is a better word. Um, but it's not a true definition. It's not a true, I'm sorry, not a true der derivation. Okay, so in, in matter waves, um, the, the underlying physics which goes into the wave equation, okay, so the fundamental laws which, uh, which give rise to the to the um, wave equation uh, come from conservation of energy. Okay, so here's the generic form of conservation of energy. The, the, the mechanical energy, the total mechanical energy of a particle is equal to its kinetic energy plus its potential energy. And if it's a, if it's a non-relativistic particle, then the, we can write the kinetic energy as P squared over 2M, as we've seen many, many times. And again, plus the, the potential energy. And if this isn't a if this isn't a conservative potential, if the if the potential energy that we're talking about here is uh, belongs to conservative force, okay, then 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 the particle doesn't lose energy or gain energy, and, and the and the total energy is equal to is to is equal to a constant. Okay, so it doesn't vary in time or in space. Okay, and so. Um, the model, the assumptions we're going to use to develop this model that, that's going to lead to the uh, Schrodinger equation is again that we're talking about non-relativistic speeds, okay? And so uh, that way we can use the classical expression for the for the um, for the uh, kinetic energy, okay? As we've already written, um, E the total energy is actually just the total mechanical energy, okay? So we're neglecting the internal energy um, of of the particle, um, and uh, also we have um, already just we've already mentioned that the that the uh, this is for a single particle only. Okay, so this relationship here, which is our starting point, is we're only we're not talking about the sum of the sum of energies of many particles. We're talking about a single particle. Okay, so that's what E corresponds to. And again, also, it's it's only valid it's only valid for conservative forces uh, acting on that particle. Okay, so we can't um, if if friction or any other non-conservative force um, uh, that leads to energy dissipation uh, is uh, part of the system, then we have to add other terms to the Schrodinger equation. And what we're going to what, what what we're going to end up with today is would not be um, completely accurate, although it's a good starting place. Okay, so um, if we start with the um, conservation of energy, then the other thing that we can notice is that for, is that we can use the de Broglie relations again. We're talking about matter waves, okay? As I said, we're talking about matter waves, and so we can um, again starting with the conservation of energy, we can then use the de Broglie relationships because we know that um, that uh, particles have wave-like properties, okay? So the two de Broglie relationships. Um, uh, that we've talked about already uh, several um, lectures ago are that the frequency of this uh, particle wave, the matter wave, is equal to uh, Planck's constant divided by uh, its energy, okay, mechanical energy, and uh, and the uh, wavelength is equal to um, uh, the Planck's constant divide, divided by its uh, momentum, okay, and so we can rewrite these uh, eventually as uh, E is equal to H H bar omega, energy is equal to H bar, Planck's constant divided by 2 pi, times the angular uh, frequency omega, and the momentum is equal to H bar K, where K again is um, is the uh, wave number. Okay, And so uh, this allows us to rewrite conservation of energy uh, in this form, okay, E is equal, I mean h bar omega, which is equal to E, is equal to h bar squared k squared over 2m, which is equal to the kinetic energy, plus the potential energy u.